Okay, hello everyone. This is Casey from WebBuddy. Now, in this short video, I'm going to show you how we can create a home page using the latest WordPress 6.4.1 and using the default official team 2024. So, this is the 2024 team. Uh, by default, this is how it looks. So, we are going to create a home page and I'm going to teach you how you can. Uh, do some configuring of this home page to make this website suitable for a local business a simple local business a website if let's say you do not have the budget to engage a professional web designer you can follow this tutorial to create a simple website for your new local business okay so we are now logging into the dashboard of the new wordpress website this is a brand new WordPress website, so the settings over here is very minimum. We do not have any plugins installed at the moment. So the first thing normally you need to do is let's go to settings, general. The reason to come to here is to change the site title. As you can see that right now, it says new site so ideally you should put in your business name over here so for example let's say my new business is called all clean services so it's a cleaning local cleaning services so i can just put down all clean services then i scroll down and click save changes go back to the website do a refresh and you can see that it changes to all clean services if you want to add a logo if you want to add more things over here i can share with you how to in the uh, future video so for now we'll focus on the home page first okay so now after we have changed the site title let's change the style of the website so if you go to appearance editor there's a style option over here and i think this style is quite useful to most uh, users because it can immediately help you to set the tone and style of your website so if for example you do not like this uh, white background you think that it might be a bit too plain for your business website you can choose to switch it to amber for example uh, for me i find that this blue theme is quite okay so i will just save uh, this selection so for you you can choose any one of them as long as it fits your business uh, color theme so now when i go to my website do a refresh you can see that the theme changes so the next thing i need to do is to create a home page so go to pages add new page okay so we can just close this and i will enter the title as home and i click publish okay so i publish this page as home so it has been published then i will add in a pattern okay i'll add in the pattern so under pages so once you click on pages we are going to select a template that by default it has the most of the things available for us so this is called the business home so i'm going to click on this business home and you can see immediately insert all the relevant section for me so don't worry about the other section you can easily remove them if you do not need them uh, later okay so i'm going to update the template okay and let's go back here and now we have this home so we are going to set this page as our home page so to do that go to settings reading select a static page and home page select home and save changes okay so the changes has been saved so go to pages all pages and click edit again so we are going to check out our website so once you click on title you can see that now this is our 
home page okay so we are going to make further changes as you can see that there's a big home title over here and some of you may not like this title to be here because it's quite awkward for it to appear in your home page so we are going to edit the template to remove it because it appear here because it's part of the template so how to edit the template is that you notice that the template using currently this page is using the pages template okay so there are two ways to change or edit the pages template one is to click here straight away and another method is to go to appearance editor then you can click the templates over here and click the pages here okay then edit the template here so we are going to edit the template here so click on the title so once you click on the title this will appear in every pages that uses this pages template so we are going to delete this thing so once you delete it it's blank okay so delete it click save click save and go back to wordpress okay go back to dashboard and now you can refresh the home page and you can see that the home title disappeared because we have edited and removed it from the template okay so coming back to here so once over here you can arrange the order and let me share with you an effective way of doing so is to click on this document overview icon over here and you can see that a different section is arranged over here so once you click here it will show you which are the group so once you click on here you see that this is the group then followed by this group then you click on testimonial this is a testimonial section click on group then this is another group and this is the final group okay so for example if you want to change the arrangement let's say this one the description you do not want it to appear first in your home page you want it to appear below the image so you can rearrange the arrangement over here so you just expand the arrow so you can see that this image and this is the description so you can drag the image upward so here this is the effect so the spacer if you do not need the spacer you can click on this three dot and delete the spacer okay so this is how it looks after that you click on update again go to the home page do a refresh you can see that the image appear first and then followed by the description and for me personally i do not like quite a big image in my home page so what i will do or prefer is to change the setting okay i want to change the property of this group over here so i expand and under the group property over here you can see that it's currently being arranged as group and i want to change it to row so let me click on the row and show you what's the difference so once I click on row, you can see that the image is on the left and the description is on the right. And I prefer this arrangement because the image won't be so overwhelming. So I click update, go to my home page and I do a refresh again. So this is how it looks like. So I can replace the image to any image that I like. Click on the image and click replace. I can upload the image okay so let's say i have a group of uh, cleaning specialists that want to upload to my home page to let uh, my visitors take a look they click update i do a refresh again and you can see that it shows the image that i want and you can edit the size if you want to over here you can edit the size another thing that i want to share with you is that once you click on the image and you can click on the more setting over here you can see that the style is rounded so rounded means that it has a round corner if not you can select default if you select default it will change to the sharp 
corners okay so if you prefer round you can just click on the round over here and also one thing is that you can also insert video so for example when people come to your website you can show them a youtube video over here instead of an image so what you can do is that so let me duplicate this section to show you okay so because i want to show you an example and i want to keep this as well so let me click on here and click on duplicate and now this is the duplicated uh, section so over here i click here and replace i'm going to remove this and i'm going to add let me add in okay so let me add a custom html okay so choose custom html and here is where you can put in the youtube embed code okay so i've gone to youtube and just select a random video and paste in the embed code over here okay and click update and i go to my website take a look after refresh i scroll down so you can see that this is what you can do as well okay so you can show a youtube video and a description over here okay so by the way if you find that the video is too small what you can do is that over here in the coding you can change the width and the height so for example the width i will change it to 700 and the height probably i will change it to 450 okay just an example and then i click update again go back to the website and i refresh so now you can see that the video is bigger and it looks uh, nicer and tighter in the home page okay okay so you can either put a video and a description over here you can or you can put the image and the description over here it's really up to you and it's quite easy to put them up so now the next thing that i would like to do is to insert a section where i can share with my visitors website visitors on what are the services that i'm providing okay so for services we can make use of this uh, section to create the services uh, information so what we can do is when you click here you can change this wording so you can select it and let's change it to services okay and you can also change the description that you uh, want to and moving down over here i only need the first row so i don't need the second row so this is the column 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 and this space so i am going to delete this space and delete the three the this column group down here as well okay so i'm going to delete this column because i only need the first row okay so this is only what i need and over here when i click on this block so over here you can see that there's an asterisk here if you want to remove the asterisk you can click on the respective uh, module over here and you can see that with asterisk you just select default then the asterisk will disappear so over here you select default again click here and select default again okay okay so the idea here is that we want to insert uh, three different services here and with button that people can click and then to find out more about the services so we're going to insert a picture so click on this thing over here and you can add before add before and let's put in slash image okay we add in an image okay we're going to upload the image over here and let's say it's a home cleaning and change the description to say home cleaning and here you can also input some respective uh, words okay as for the button you can we can also 
at after and you can choose buttons so we can set a button over here for the text you can click on uh, find out find out more okay you can click on this link to link to the respective pages okay so i'm going to pause the video and enter the respective two columns using the same steps okay so i've entered the all the services uh, respectively home cleaning office cleaning sanitization and once i click update and i go to the website to take a look so this is the hero image with the description followed by the respective services okay with the button um the respective services page has not been created yet we can create that in the future and i do not really need this section this section and this section so i'm going to delete them so go back to the back end and you can collapse this group and click on this group so this is the group that i want to delete so i just delete this group okay this group okay i want to keep it okay this is a testimonial group let's delete the group of course if you need the testimonial you can just uh, leave it okay it's a group again So if you let's say you accidentally deleted something, you can just click and do over here. Okay, so I have this followed by the paragraph, followed by these services, this uh session that I do not need. Okay, okay, so this is a subscriber. And uh, finally to end off this uh home page tutorial. Uh, I also want to share with you uh, a simple tip to add in a call to action. It is important to have a call to action in your home page. So we can go ahead and click on this add and pattern. There's a few call to action that you can use. So let's say for a local uh, business, you might want people to contact you to schedule an appointment, uh, for example. Okay. So what I will do is that over here, I can click on this newspaper landing. Okay, or you can click on any call to action if you want. You can just select the respective one. Okay, so this is a call to action that you can change it. So for example, I will change this to let's say contact us now for an appointment and you can and we can link this button to our contact form page and i'll show you how to create a contact form page in my future tutorial okay so i will remove this section first so this is the section that i don't want delete so now let's click update and take a final look on our home page which is a simple home page that we've uh, created using the team 2024 with the services and a simple call to action and the footer and we can deal with the footer in future lesson as well okay so i hope that you find this tutorial useful if you have any questions about creating your home page you can feel free to post your questions or comments in the section below i'll see if i can help you out with what i know thank you very much and see you in the future tutorial thank you